What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to the Planet Destiny Zer video. Just got done streaming. Check it out. We got some people excited about Zer as well. And you may or may not be excited about Zer once you see these. And he is tucked off over to the corner. Well, hello, Zer. Look at you chilling. Chilling over here. What you got for us today, Zer? What you got? Nothing exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Bungie really could have done something here, guys. Bungie really could have brought out, just knocked us over with some awesome stuff this week with Zer, being that it's such an incredible week for game releases. And obviously a lot of people are interested in playing Fallout and Black Ops and so on and so forth. They could have been like, check out these awesome new things that we added, or maybe some year one exotics. No, not at all. We got for the Titan, the Crest of Alupa with a good intellect roll. This is actually uh, definitely a good roll right here. Keeper of the pack, revive fallen teammates faster and generate more orbs if you are unaware what that exotic does. Yes, it's good intellect roll on that. Young Ahamkara's spine for the hunter. Trip mines last 30 seconds. I believe they last 30 seconds. And you get an additional trip mine charge. Badass. But you probably already have it. <laughs> and then the obsidian mind. Nova bombs or kills with the Nova bomb reduce the next Nova bomb uh, time. That's obviously good, but honestly, we've all seen this, and it's pretty much meh in comparison to something like I would love to see a Telesto. For me personally, I don't have a Telesto yet, so it would have been great, awesome to get that. But there is no Telesto. That sucks. Uh, also, in terms of rolls, like I said, uh, high intellect on this, so that's good. Uh, the young Ahamkara's spine, young Ahamkara's spine, is average, and the Obsidian Mine is actually decent. It's not super exciting, but it is decent. And then for the engram, we have gauntlets. We've had gauntlets a lot. So again, it's just nothing exciting about this, uh, this set of loot right here. And then the legacy engram is body armor. So that is a little interesting, a little bit of a silver lining. If you don't have all of the year one uh, armor or body armor exotics, then here's a chance. It's really expensive though, 29 strange coin. Just to fill that loot out? I don't know. I think that's a little weird. And then we got the Emerald Coil Stealth Drive. We got Heavy Amazon, Three of Coins, and the Glass Needles for rerolling exotics in your Motor Light Exchange. In my personal opinion, I feel like Three of Coins is the new way to acquire exotics. It's a great way in the game to be working on strikes, pop Three Coin, and potentially get another exotic to drop. And maybe Bungie, maybe that was Bungie's intent, is that this is the new way to get exotic drops from this. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing exciting, honestly. Pretty disappointing week for Zer. And no Telesto. He just doesn't want to bring me a Telesto. I mean, it could have been some year one exotics introduced for this week. People would have been excited about that if they had brought something, maybe like an Ackley Fish symbiote. Um, <laughs> Blue West was asking about the RAM, if he brought a year two RAM, because apparently they fixed it, from what I hear. I don't have, uh, I had, don't have personal experience with that, so it's definitely a possibility. But yes, they did not. Bungie missed it. They didn't do it, guys. They didn't do it. And here we are with a disappointing Zer week. It's okay though, guys. Not every week can be amazing. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you want to check out those Zer streams, I usually start around 9 or 10 p.m. Pacific time and go till Zer on the Planet Destiny Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash planet underscore destiny. You guys are amazing, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.